You know, let's start off. You obviously have a lot of uh, carriers that are not based in the U.S. Um, European to U.S. travel, for example, so many borders closed, European to European country. What are your expectations there, given it doesn't appear it's going to be anywhere near a normal summer vacation uh, travel season? Yeah, you're exactly right. Probably not for this upcoming summer season, although we do forecast a potential growth during the summer months of, of travel. Uh, but nevertheless, I do think we're making a lot of uh, uh, good headway in the, the notion of vaccine visas and facilitating travel in that way. And I think the industry is making some progress there. But certainly in Europe and other parts of the world, uh, it's not quite as rosy. Certainly in the U.S. domestic uh, scene, it's very, very strong. You've seen uh, Delta signal last week, uh, kind of they felt that we were at the bottom. American is increasing its flights and its size of aircraft. Uh, China is back up to just a pretty much full capacity. Russia is near the same. But we still have certain parts of the world that are, are still suffering. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would assume trying to sort of give guidance in this environment continues to be challenging. I looked at your last yes. earnings uh, where, you know, your collection rate, for example, for three and 12 months for last year was 88 mm percent. -hmm. You expect mm -hmm. that that's going to sort of remain under pressure. Is it going to get better, in your opinion? And is it a decent reflection of where things stand right now? You know, we'll wait to see how it unfolds. We'll see how the year unfolds. But I, I think it's going to be under pressure for a little while. I mean, a lot of the carriers are still working through uh, their financial constraints. Uh, they're back for second and third rounds of financing support from the government. So I think we're, I think we're in for uh, still a bit of a time for the recover for the airline industry and their ability to, absorb, to uh, obtain capital. But that's where the leasing companies come in. We've been able to provide a lot of capital and new aircraft from our order book to help relieve them of their capital uh, obligations and, and of their cash burn. And so we're going to continue doing that. And, and we believe, you know, 2020 was the year where leasing hit 50% of the global market, 50% of all the aircraft uh, that are flying are, are leased, and that's going to continue. So, John, then it's Morgan. Just to dig into that a little bit more, I mean, given how much debt and, and what the, the financials look like for airlines uh, across the world right now, is your expectation that you're going to continue to see the share of leased aircrafts grow globally? Yes, absolutely. Uh, most people feel it's going to climb to 52, 53 percent by the end of this year, but clearly leasing now has come become a bastion of capital for the airline industry, and we're happy to support those airlines uh, with our capital, with our order book. And it's also a huge opportunity for the airlines to advance their environmental sustainability goals by downsizing, right-sizing their fleets, getting rid of the oldest, less fuel-efficient aircraft, and getting the youngest, most environmentally friendly aircraft, which is what we have on order. We're seeing AirCap and GCAS combine mm -hmm. that business mm -hmm. right now. I want to get your reaction not only to that deal, but how that positions your company now within the broader industry. Yeah. Well, congratulations to them. I think it's brought a lot of good attention to our space. Uh, we, we wish them well. Um, <clears throat> we've been competing with both of those companies now very successfully for 11 years, and we don't foresee that changing. We, we're very happy with where we are with our own size and scale, our customer contacts. Uh, we still enjoy the lowest cost of debt financing of, of uh, any of the publicly traded uh, aircraft lessors. We expect that to continue. We, we wish them well. And, um, you know, if anything, again, it shows, I think, a lot of attention on our space within the global airline community. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.